Hi guys, it's me. How you doing? Are we in focus this time? I mean, are we centered in front of the camera? Sorry for the other video. Um, I just didn't realize. Uh, I think this time I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. So let's get started. I just wanted to share with you uh, three things. Okay, this time seriously, it's just three things I got um, by YSL in particular. And uh, yeah, let's get started immediately. So. I am literally addicted to YSL's Wet and Dry palette, also known as, uh, also known as the YSL Pure Chromatics palette. And um, I got hooked by Lisa. This is all her fault. And uh, I bought two of them. I love them. And this is my third palette. So I decided to buy the palette number one, which is this one over here. And uh, the reason why I picked this palette is because I absolutely loved that um, electric blue. We can call that shade electric blue. I'm wearing all four colors today. I hope you can see. I absolutely love them. Um, I'm a person that loves color, not only when I dress, but also in my makeup. Um, I, I feel very comfortable. I feel at ease. So this is the look. I absolutely love it very dramatic but I feel that you can tone it down very easily. I decided to go for you know all four colors all the way and it is absolutely awesome. All four colors are so easy to mix and match and to combine together. I mean, seriously, it's so easy. When Sometimes when I buy some palettes, I look at the colors and I say, geez, how am I gonna, you know, which one is the lit color? Which one is the crease color? I know that in makeup, there ain't no rules. We are free to, you know, use whatever you want, wherever you want. But um, sometimes uh, in some palettes, the colors are seriously difficult to work together. With this, it's just so easy. Everything works, blends easily together. Like when I open this palette, I know that which color goes on my lid, which color goes on my crease, which color is my highlighter. And obviously, you know, I can use my crease color on my lid or my lid color in my crease. And all four work beautifully together wherever you put it. I love this palette so, so much. Just a few tips if you're new to this whole YSL Pure Chromatics world. Uh, when I first bought my first palette, I sort of panicked because I thought, okay, I spent 44 euro on a palette and it, the pigmentation is not what I expected. And that is the first um, sensation you might have when you buy these palettes because they are not hyper pigmented like MAC or Illamasqua. I mean, in a mask as eyeshadows, all you need is a tiny, teeny bit and you get a whoa, a blast of color. This is not the case with the YSL. With the YSL, you really need to work your brush in the product. And may I suggest that when you use these colors, try to use a flat shader brush. Because flat, shaders, flat shader brush like Max uh, 239, they manage to pick up more color and put more color on your lid, where else with a fluffy brush, you need to go over the color in layers to get that, you know, vibrant pigmentation. So that's the only tip I can give you. For the rest, they are very easy to work with. And I love it. I, these palettes are just so easy. That's the only thing I can't say enough. It, they're great, really. Um, fantastic. Love it. And... Uh, recently, I've been hooked on the YSL brand so, so, so much. I started using the YSL Waterline Black Pencil. Awesome. I'm wearing that today as well. As you can see, I have very, very watery eyes and that stuff does not budge. You put it on, you're fine for hours. Same for the YSL um, Shocking Mascara. I'm wearing that today as well. I love it. It's good. Um, as I said, not as much as my Dior's New Look Mascara because like with the YSL Shocking, I find it a bit difficult to apply that mascara on my 
lower lashes because the wand is pretty thick and you know, with a lot of bristles. But I mean the brand in general is just so great. They have so much, so many good stuff, you know what I mean? And this is my number one favorite items of the YSL brand. Their pure chromatics palettes are just awesome. I love them. Then I bought two products for my lips. I bought one of the golden glosses and this one is in number 51 and if I'm not in error I think it's called golden shell. Now can you please explain to me why YSL has numbers and names for their items on the box but then on the product itself they just keep the numbers. Why not the name? I don't know, just a suggestion if YSL is looking So, yeah, this is the Golden Gloss, and as Lisa said, this stuff is pure shimmer. If you don't like bling, if you don't like shimmer, just stay away from this. I love shimmer, I love bling, so I absolutely love it. Um, it's a lip gloss. It's a pretty neutral color, even though it has a very champagne under base, or undertone, or I don't know, it works great with all lipsticks from pinks to browns to you know anything it's a lip gloss so it adds shimmer to whatever lipstick you're wearing it's great actually wearing on my lips today is this lipstick which is the rouge pure shine sheer lipstick in number 10 this one has a name as well but i so don't remember and this is the lipstick that you press and the pr lipstick comes out And there you have it. It is such a beautiful, beautiful pink. I'm wearing it now and I love it so, so much. The formulation is very glossy. It's a pinky color. And uh, it works great, I think, for all skin tones. If you're blonde or if you're brunette like, my, like me, it's beautiful. It's really fantastic. get enough so yeah that's all I got makeup wise and um, I also got other three things not makeup wise which I want to show you I got all three books of the Fifty Shades trilogy yes I have and I am so excited to start reading them mm. I don't know about you guys but recently I have heard so so much rambling and talking and hype about Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, not only on the book, in the book community here on YouTube, uh, but also beauty gurus, beauty bloggers, everybody have been talking about this book. And uh, we're talking months, okay, months and months and months, and I've never actually took an interest in this book because I thought, okay, it's just another series, just another fiction or non-fiction, I will check it out when I decide to buy some more books. But the other day I was watching a vlog by uh, Makeup by Mel and she was rambling and saying how much she loved this book, how much she was addicted, she started reading the second book, she read the first book in two days, I said okay enough is enough, I'm missing something out here, let me just go and see what this series is about. I went on Amazon and I typed Fifty Shades of Grey. I read the synopsis and I was sold. Uh, I was addicted. I actually didn't read the whole synopsis because I feel sometimes that the synopsis give away too much about the story. So I just read the first few lines and I said, that's enough. That's all I need to know. I want to read the story. So, and you know Amazon, when you click on an item, you scroll down and it says, if you buy book number one, book number two and book number three, you get the special price of and this, I think I paid 26 euro. And 26 euro for three books is great. I mean, here in Italy, consider that a first edition hardcover can come easily up to 16, 17 euro. So, you know, books are expensive. So yeah, I got three books for 26 euro. Paperback. Covers are all awesome. 
and I can't wait to start the story because yeah it's really really good if you haven't even if you're not and you know a big fan of reading uh, I think this book is something that many many people will like and uh, let me just say that uh, I read a few I read some info about the author and apparently she is a producer for a series on TV something like that so her books uh, when you read her books, apparently it's like reading the script of a film. So it's very easy to relate to, it's very easy to get involved. The dialogues are very straightforward. That is what I love about authors that are, you know, TV producers or whatnot. Um, their books are just easy, you know, fast and they are turn pages. Uh, do you say turn pages? Page turners. I don't know. Anyway, Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm currently reading The Knife of Letting Go. Awesome. Not going to get into that, but awesome. So, yes, my girls. That was my little tiny, teeny haul. Um, I'm very happy about all the stuff I got because I already had the chance to try everything. I'm loving it. Oh, and for the info, today I tried a sample of NARS tinted moisturizer and may I just say that I love it a lot. I love NARS Sugar Glow but I never tried the tinted moisturizer. When I bought my second bottle of NARS Sugar Glow, the sales girl gave me um, a sample of the tinted moisturizer to try and she said that I would have loved it and she was right. The coverage is very very good. It is very very lightweight. So if you are a person that doesn't use uh, foam foundation but you use you know tinted moisturizers or BB creams or stuff that are more light in texture give the NARS tinted moisturizer a go because I've heard so many good things about it um, and I agree it's a very good product and I will when I get the chance I will definitely get the full size because it's great I mean it's it has slightly more coverage than my MAC face and body and it is just as light. So that's good. You know, we discovered something new today. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks to all the people that have already subscribed and have already commented on my videos. You know who you are. You know how much I appreciate every single one of you. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.